I didn't know if I could be a mom. Nobody knows if they can be a mom until they are a mom. Even though I didn't know what life was gonna look like with a baby, I knew what life was gonna look like after I had an abortion. And I knew it was gonna hurt me. I like hip hop, R&B, and rap, and country. I rap and I sing. I write my own music. I don't make my own beats. So once I get the beat, I'll like think about how the beat makes me feel, where does it take me to, and what do I want to say on it. Atlanta, you, you could go one block and there's going to be like a movie being shot, and the next block it might be like food trucks. It's just so much going on. When I first got to Atlanta, I was 20. I was going out with friends. I was working in the club. You know, it was just, it was a fast paced lifestyle for a while. And then over time, I guess I wanted to focus more on the stuff that matters, like my music, either do my own music or write music for somebody else. I wanted to be somewhere in the industry. So that's what I was doing. My previous relationship had left me with a lot of insecurities, I guess. It wasn't a good breakup, it was hard. So after six months, I was still recovering. I had not gone to the club in a long time. I have been in the house basically feeling sorry for myself. I'm not gonna lie. My friend, she told me like, you should go, you've been in the house looking sad. Like you should go out and just have a good time. And I decided to go out. seemed very down to earth to me when I met the father of my child. He made me comfortable, very friendly, very friendly guy. I spent the night and whatever happened, happened. When I found out that I was pregnant, I was scared, shocked. As soon as I found out I was pregnant, I told him. I didn't keep it a secret from him or try to wait until I was showing or something. No, like I told him right away. He was shocked, shocked too. That's all I could tell. I couldn't really tell. I just knew he was shocked. He was like, oh, well, we're we gonna, we gonna figure it out. Saw the news? I know you saw the news. I, I did. That's not good. A couple weeks after that night, she texted me, like, yo, like, you know, I'm, you know, it's a possibility, like, I'm pregnant. Whoa, this is okay. This is crazy. We spent some time and kind of talked a little bit about what we gonna do. He was very nice about it in the beginning, very real, saying all the right things to me, saying what I wanted to hear. He was telling me that. It's up to me, it's my body, my decision. I just have to make sure that I'm ready to change and make my lifestyle different. Saying things that really made sense. And I was leaning more and more towards keeping my baby because of that. Because I felt like, okay, there's somebody who could be my friend. There's somebody who I could trust. I don't owe anybody no explanation. If he's mine, he's mine. If he's not, he's not. Oh, man. Calm down, let's take a breath. It's not it's a mess. mess. It's a mess. It's not a mess. I was asking people who had experience with being pregnant what I should do. A lot of people were saying that I shouldn't because it was gonna be a lot of drama, stress, and just basically they were telling me that I should get an abortion, I should wait to have kids until it's the right time. Planned parenthood, it's supposed to be planned. That's what it's supposed to be, that's what a lot of people say, but a lot of things aren't part of the plan and we still make it work. By the time I was showing, that's when he decided to tell me that he wasn't ready, that he really didn't think it was a good idea. But I was already five months pregnant. I already knew the gender. It's not birth control. I wanted to set an example for the community, especially the black community, <laughs> that co-parenting does not have to be hard and doesn't have to be drama. But I couldn't do it. <laughs> Groupies have been a part of hip hop for a long time. You got some women out here that plot on guys like myself. It's just a part of the game, it goes with it. You got money, you got power, you got fame, it's gonna happen. He just wanted me to be a groupie so bad. 
This was definitely an accident, but it wasn't a mistake. And you tried to paint it as a mistake. Just the negativity that was put on to my story, that's what I don't appreciate, I don't. I wish I would've known that it was gonna be my story on the show, because then it would've, it would've made me understand why I was being kept at a distance during my pregnancy. I was already in a bad place, so you want me to go kill my baby and then nothing? His friend told me that to be ready in the morning because she was gonna take me for an appointment, a checkup, and then when I got in the car, she switched it to an abortion. At that point, I just called him like, so what's going on? Cause she's sitting here trying to take me up here and he acting like he didn't know that or something. So at that point, I felt like people were playing games with me. Um, people were trying to force me into make a decision that I didn't really want to make. I just told her, yeah, go ahead and drop me back off. I typed in the hashtag like abortion on Instagram and I happened to come across a post from Let Them Live. I didn't really know um, what their organization did per se. I just kind of reached out just for anybody's opinion. I really wanted to hear somebody who was um, anti-abortion. Let Them Live helped me with my bills, stuff that I needed for my baby. They told me to go find a place that I thought was okay for me and my baby and they would help me with the deposit and first month rent. I found a nice little house that I liked and they helped me move in. They just made me feel like I had some type of family. They made me feel like I was supported because I was tired of people telling me to take the easy route and go kill my baby. Everything they were saying to me made sense and when I prayed about it, um, basically, yeah, I knew that I was supposed to keep him. On June 23rd, 2020, I gave birth to a boy, and his name's Stone. The only person there with me was my mom. I appreciate you, mom. Stone is a very, very happy baby, and he's very active. He's very advanced. He loves dogs. He's like a little me, boy version, and I love him. I just want to protect him as much as possible. <laughs> he had his first photo shoot at three months, and it was adorable. I wanted to share them with my friends and family because during my pregnancy, nobody even knew I was pregnant except my family and my close friends. Once I had him, of course, I want to share him. He's beautiful. So I'm on my phone, and I'm seeing some And I don't know if he's mine, but she put it out there, and then everywhere. The baby was three months and I still had not posted a picture and it's like I'm not waiting anymore for the okay to post my baby. I was posted it out of just being proud and wanting to share him with people that I love and people that love him. She could have done it uh, in a better way or we could have talked about it in nice release through People Magazine or however we could have done it other than just bam internet all right cool um like, what are you looking for other than attention? And I get enough of that. So you could talk about it on a TV show, but I can't post on Instagram. And then, like, he posts a picture of my baby on his Instagram, and that made me happy. You know, my son being claimed by his father, that makes me happy. But then he deleted it. If this is Bao's kid, this new child, he's going to change his life. There could be a possibility that it would affect his career. He's definitely gonna learn from this. Bow Wow, 33, two kids, that's kind of good. It's great, actually. I could easily have like nine, easy. Those are all words that your son's gonna hear later. Imagine how that's gonna hurt. This is not a reality TV show, <laughs> this is real. I mean, I'm, I'm saying mm. I am human. Mm. Hey. Real shit. All right. Mm. I should have known you had a motive. For real. You dealing with the pain, but you can't control it. Damn. Alleged son here. Yeah, I see y'all notice. You heard? These women hurt me yeah, bad, that's why my heart the coldest. I'm looking in his eyes, I'm trying to see me in him. I'm peeping out in swag and I see the resemblance. Seen a boy three times, shit, why would I lie? Baby mom to bring him through just so we spend some time. And if he mine, shit, you know I'm stepping up. Kobe set that example. You know I set my blessings up. 
I told you dealing with me was gonna be hard to do. Facts. We both caught in this storm, but we gonna make it through. Yes. Mama call like shy, do me a favor. Keep your dick out of these broke hoes that wanna be famous. Ohio born, ATL raised me. I ain't from this new era. I'm an 80s baby. I think that he was super honest and super real about how he was feeling. Um, but yeah, that paints a picture of his experience. That doesn't paint a picture of me. Uh, broke hoes that want to be famous. He's not about to put that label on me. If he's mine, I'm stepping up right. I respected that when I heard it the first time. He said, Kobe set that example. So now I'm stepping up if he minds or he yours. Let them live blessed me with a vehicle when I was so in need of a vehicle. They picked a car out for me and they drove it out here to Atlanta from Indiana and literally gifted me this car, me and my son. Like, it's just amazing to me and I'm just so grateful. I owe them for my son's life. Like, those small gestures, those big gestures, like, it made all the difference. Becoming a mother has made me a way better person and made me think more about the decisions that I make. My patience level has went up incredibly. I hope that I could be a good role model for my son so he could choose a woman that's something like me. Stone is not slowing me down at all. He's definitely a motivation for me to go harder. That's a motivation like no other, having a little you. So not only was Let Them Live there for me financially, they were there to emotionally support me through my pregnancy. They was the only people who was telling me that you can do this. You actually are capable of being a good mother. Like, just stuff that you need to hear. And I don't know how they knew, but they were right. <laughs> Don't get aside yourself, little mama. It's time for you to be a hot. I ain't got no time, my mind on dollar signs. Know they can feel my vibe, they catch it every time. Bad bitch pull up on me, she tryna get high. We don't do no tripping, just enjoying life. You know that this shit is light. It's the same shit, different night. Dipping on dark, her toes painted white. She living wrong, but she looking so right. She flying private. She know how to keep quiet. She wanna love and she don't wanna fight. Don't get inside yourself, little mama. It's time for you to be a big girl. Got time for drama. Anything you wanna do. 